Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on RefWorks. This tutorial has been created to show you how to create a RefWorks account, import resources into your RefWorks account, and create a reference page. What is RefWorks, you ask? This is an account that allows you to organize all your research documents like journal, newspaper, and magazine articles that you find during your everything search and put it into one convenient location that you can access anywhere you have Wi-Fi. Why do you need a RefWorks account? Your RefWorks account has a lot of useful tools that will be explored in further tutorials, but our focus today will be on importing documents to create a reference page. Let's begin. As you can see, we have already started by performing an everything search. If you are having trouble remembering how to search Niagara College Library for resources, please refer to the How Do I Find the Library Resources tutorial. The first step that we want to take is to click on the RefWorks login link found at the top right hand corner of the page. Please note that RefWorks login can also be found in the All Databases A to Z tab on the Niagara Library's homepage. Next, you want to select the No Account Sign Up Here link. Next, enter your Niagara College email account in the box provided. It's right here. You'll need to use your college email address so that RefWorks can verify your account access. Remember, your email address should follow the format shown in the screen above, which is username at ncstudents.niagaracollege.ca. Just a reminder that your username is the same as your Blackboard username. After you have filled in your email, click the Next button. You'll be, you will then be prompted to choose a password for your account. After you've picked a password, click the Sign Up button. Just locate it right there. You will then receive an email from RefWorks to confirm and activate your account. If you do not see this email in your inbox box, you may want to check your junk mail. Click the link or copy and paste the link into the address bar of your browser to complete confirmation. It's located there, right there. Once you convert, confirm and activate your RefWorks account, you will be prompted to set it up. Here you will fill in your first and last name, right here where you see my first and last name. You will select your area of study under the Niagara College drop-down menu. You'll notice I've selected other there. Um, select undergraduate, undergraduate student under Role drop-down menu. I've selected Librarian. Once you've finished filling out this screen, you're going to want to click on the Next. Please skip the display tutorial. Our focus today will be on the basic tools of RefWorks. You will have the opportunity to experience Ref, RefWorks advanced tools in a different session. So we're going to skip that tutorial. Now that we have our RefWorks account, account set up, we're going to click on the Back to Library search found near the top left hand corner of the page. So just want to go back to our library search. We are now going to learn how to add documents to our RefWorks account from the Everything Search. So we'll click that. We are now going to back to our original Everything Search screen. We are going to add a few resources to our folder. The, the resources that we add will be put in the folder icon near the top right hand corner of the page. So when we add a resource, it's going to go right in this folder located here. To add resources to your folder, click on the plus folder icon located beside the item that you would like to add to your folder. So, right here, you want to click on that. You'll notice that the plus folder icon has changed. It is now a checkmark folder icon indicating that you have added this resource to the folder right up here located at the top of the page. 
Now that we've had we've added some resources to our folder, we can click on the Access Our Referrix account. We can click on this folder to access our Referrix account. So do that. By clicking on the folder icon found at the top of the Everything Search page, it has brought us back to our Refworks account. You'll notice that all of our resources that we selected earlier are now found in our account. To begin making our reference page, check mark the Select All box. So we're going to select all these. Click the Create Bibliographic Bibliography tab that is represented by a quotation mark icon to make your reference page. So just right there. I'm going to click on that. You'll notice that a reference page has been created from the resources that we selected. The citation style has defaulted to AMA or American Medical Association. Next, I'm going to click on the citation style drop down menu and select the citation style that we need. So, I really want to have APA style. If you don't see your citation style listed, then you're, you can perform a search right here. But as I said before, we're going to select APA. Ta-da! We've created a reference page which you can copy and paste at the end of your research paper. Click on the Copy to Clipboard button so that you can paste the reference page at the end of your research paper. So just click on that so that you can have it. And the screen below right here is what your references will look like. Please remember that automated citations created by RefWorks are not always correct. It is important to always double check your reference page to make sure it's, it is correct. Please consult the NC Library Citation Help subject guide found on our website. I've provided the link to the guide at the bottom of the slide right here. To recap, in this tutorial we learned how to create a RefWorks account, import documents into our RefWorks account, and to create a reference page. If you're having any problems, please use the following contacts. Live chat. You could also email us at library at niagaracollege.ca if live chat's unavailable. If you'd rather, you can call us at 905-735-2211, extension 7767 at the Welland campus, or extension 4413 at the Niagara-on-the-Lake campus. Or, as always, come into the library. We're always here to help you. Thanks for listening.